had a bunch of Gary and Terry is our covering. I, we have men and women that we are surrounded with uh, that covers us, and uh, one of them is Pastor Gary. Uh, he's uh, one of the major leaders of the Four Square organization. He preaches the word. Uh, when you guys sit down in a church, you just swim in the word. And uh, he is a teacher of leaders, pastors of leaders. And I, he has a lot of wisdom. I want you guys to listen. Open your ears, as uh, Jerry said, no ear what. <coughs> And so you can hear what the Lord is speaking to us. So I want us to be blessed and be ministered to. He's one of our speakers today. We just speak to the marketplace of professional. And I know there's a lot of you that are still coming in and out. But um, the Lord uh, designs our schedule, right? He arranges our footsteps for the right time when we come in and the right time when we leave. So those of you who are continuing to be hungry for the Lord and His Word, I want you to open your hearts and ears. I want you to give a big hand to our pastor, Pastor Gary. Oh, well, it's so good to be here, and uh, thank you for the both of you that uh, spoke. Uh, what a privilege it is to see the word manifest in people's lives. Amen. Amen. Well, you know the word says in Jeremiah 33, 3, it says, Call unto me, and I will answer you and show you great and mighty things that you don't know. When we gather together as a group in Mighty Dove, what happens is wisdom is expressed by the Holy Spirit, and we learn from one another. We grow from one another. And what I was um, had talked to Mila quite a while ago, because I, I knew that they were moving their offices. And I, I want to express to the group here, but really speak to Mighty Dove Global really speak to their future, speak to uh, what I believe the Lord is saying uh, to them. And so with the distinct privilege I have of talking to you, that's my goal today is for you to hear the voice of the Lord and what the Lord is saying to the mighty men global. Now, also, uh, being 58 years old uh, and younger than Dr. Anita, <laughs> um, I had the distinct privilege of meeting them many, many years ago. And when I say many years ago, I began uh, as youth pastor at Valley Community Church where I pastor uh, in 1979. And uh, so I have been a part of Valley Community Church three times. Was there for three years, was there for 15 years, and now there for 10 years. I was there as uh, a seminary Bible college student for three, and then I went to uh, Kokomo, Indiana. You ever hear of that? <laughs> Kokomo, Indiana, and became a youth pastor and had the privilege of being appointed of running youth camps. Now, why I'm bringing this to you is that the Lord has a plan for everybody. After about two and a half years, the Lord uh, began to speak to me about going back to Southern California. And when I had prayed that and I felt the Lord telling me, the Lord spoke to me and said, go. The next day I got a phone call from one of my youth who were now running the softball program at the church. And uh, they were playing in a big tournament. And uh, I, I played high level baseball. And uh, so they called me and said, we'll pay for your flight and everything. If you will come out, notice I'm young in ministry, don't have any money, just had two kids, my wife and I. And uh, so they fly us out. At that point, I was able to talk to the pastor of Valley, and he brought me back to Valley. So I was there for 15 years. And while I was in Indiana, the Lord taught me the anointing of an associate. Someone who carries another person's vision. And in many instances, your success is not in succeeding in what you are supposed to do. Your success is in how you can work with others. And so I learned that. And so for 15 years, I served another man's vision. I served his vision. We saw the church grow, you know, huge. And we saw a great ministry take place. From there, uh, our general supervisor asked if I would uh, pray about going to North Carolina and to pastor a church. Now, in going to North Carolina, 
in, in pastoring the church. The only time I was in North Carolina, my experience was we went to PTL, and I took the youth from Indiana to the PTL for a youth camp. And the only experience with the people was we were driving to the mountains to get there, stop for gas, and the guy came out, was way, way older than Mila and Doctor, and uh, he looked like he was about 100 years old. And uh, I asked him if he'd fill up the vans, and the vans were unleaded at the time. And uh, how many of you remember the change from, you know, leaded to unleaded gas? And uh, he said, well, we, we only carry regular. And uh, so you saw how he spoke. That was my only experience in North Carolina. God brought me to North Carolina, my wife and I, and our children, and God blessed us. Because there are plans that God has. Every one of you, there, there, some of you might be here and thinking, I don't know how I'm going to do this. Some of you are thinking, I don't know what, what God's plan is for my life. I want you to understand, it's good. All good things come from the Father of God. That's what Scripture says. He's got a good plan for you just here. Call unto him, he will answer you. We were there, had the privilege of being appointed as supervisors to oversee the east coast of all the churches, and had the privilege of that. Now why I'm bringing all this, it's not about me, it's about Mighty Dove Global, but I want you to hear what God has. And, and what I wrote down, I specifically, normally when I speak I have notes, I look at it and then I talk. But I'm going to specifically read to you specific things, Dr. and Mila, I want you to understand, this has come straight from the throne room of God. That's what I believe. And uh, so, in that point, we were there for nine years. And let me tell you, the very reason why I went to North Carolina was not to be successful, be the leader, you know, the leader for square of all these coasts and all that. It wasn't because the church when we got there was small. It, it exploded in growth. We built, we bought property. Now the church is, is, a, is a huge church in Four Square. But the reality, the reason why I was there was because there was a young couple there that had just gotten married who had a call of the Lord on their life and they were seeking wisdom and insight from the Lord. This young man fasted when he knew there was going to be a transition and found out that we were coming. He fasted for 40 days and uh, just drinking juice and water because he wanted to be the man that he could be to the, the, the pastor of the church. When we got there, we, we just saw God bless. And I saw them just become what God had called them to be, just begin to see who they really were. Well, after nine years, the Lord said, the very reason why I brought you here and all these things took place that you were blessed with, the very reason was is so that you can help train Dale to take over the church. God will move a mountain for you if you will just believe it. God will move a mountain for you if you would just take that and realize what he has done. You see in the world today... Uh, God is moving to another level. I believe in, with all my heart, and I'm not one of these evangelistic preachers, I'm a teacher of the Word of God. But I believe evang evangelistically, I believe with all my heart, as someone who now is speaking evangelistically, is that the Holy Spirit is beginning to move in the latter day reign. Mm. Oh, yes. And in that latter day reign, the Holy Spirit is now moving. And it always begins in the spirit realm. It always begins in the kingdom of God realm. And now what's happening is beginning to pour out in this world. And he does, he does it through you. God doesn't come. See, Jesus is not going to come and, and show himself again until he returns. But the reality, he shows himself day after day after day with you. He will move in and through you. He shows himself through you. And so as we knew, the re very reason why we were in North Carolina was to prepare a young man and a young woman to become great in the kingdom of God. They're doing so. We came back in the last 10 years. We've had the privilege of pastoring Valley Community Church. And uh, 
Dr. Neela and many people that are involved with uh, Mighty Mighty Dove Global is you know our part, and we're just excited of what God is doing. It is an honor, it is a privilege for me to stand before you to be able to speak to you about what I believe the Holy Spirit is saying. God doesn't call the qualified. He qualifies the call. Amen. Mighty Dove Ministries and its identity through many outreaches is qualified. Why? Because there is a call of God on you. Amen. Everybody that's involved with Mighty Dove Global, there is a call on you. It is not easy to birth a ministry or business as many think. Mighty Dove Global has done spectacular things for the kingdom of God for over 25 years. Many are so focused on developing a Christian business or ministry, but they forget to develop the principles that guide them that proves their beliefs. God never intended for anyone to embark upon his purpose for their lives without a plan and an accompanying structure. Mighty Dove has done this, and it has given them the success that they have enjoyed. Listen to the vision. To influence the marketplace, one family at a time, with a spirit of excellence, integrity in their souls, skills in our hands, and passion in our hearts for our families. Doctors Rolando and Mila, and to your whole staff and family, you have done well. Today is a new day in a new place. You cannot change where you've been, but you can change where you are going. God has anointed you with a purpose to do business. We just don't need anointed preachers. We need anointed people that do business that supports the vision. Well done, mighty dev. Why don't you just touch the person next to you and say, God wants to anoint you with purpose. <laughs> now I believe that the Holy Spirit, Dr. Neela, is getting very specific. We are in a new level, and it matters we focus on an anointing to do business. Mighty Dove, this is your time. You are in a new place. So as we do dedicate this facility, we know that there is an anointed purpose. And this purpose is very specific. Doctors Rolando and Mila, you have paid the price, and it is your anointing God has given you. You have been obedient through the years. You have had your ups, and you have had your downs. But with this anointing, you continue to move forward. Now I want to express something to some of us. There is, there's something that goes around in churches today, in the spiritual, I will say, religious aspect of churches today, that says this, will you pray for me because I want your anointing? And we do want the result. We want the power of the anointing. But let me tell you, there's a huge sacrifice in an anointing. That's right. There's a price that needs to be paid. Yes. Yeah. There's times when salaries need to be paid and you don't have the money. So you pull out of your savings. There's a sacrifice in your life, in your business, in what you do. People don't realize the price that you pay. And for someone to come up to you and say, I want your anointing, then what you need to do is say, okay, then I want you to sacrifice being paid. For six months. He has crushed your flesh like an olive press. 
as the oil that comes out of the crushed olive, the anointing is flowing in all of your lives. <clears throat> the teacher in me wants to say one more thing. As you have, as my brother has wonderfully spoken about this arrogance, and he has allowed that same revelation that you have lived your lives. And now what you're seeing in people working with you, that the Lord is literally crushing their flesh too. Yes. Because by your spirit, you're choosing to do things for the spirit of God and not for yourself. Amen. But because of that, there is a flow of an anointing that after all these years, you folks are going to be experiencing something so precious. The dead will raise. Sickness and disease will be removed in a greater realm than you've ever experienced. Amen. Amen. You're going to begin to see people come to you that are not needy, but they're going to come to you that have a need to serve the vision that God's given you. Amen. So move forward with God's grace, which is the power for your success. Grace is not just unmerited favor. Grace is a power that allows you to attain the things that God has called you to. It gives you the ability to do the things God's called you, and every one of you. Your future in His plan, not man's plan, is huge. Thank God for this place and level God has brought you. May he overwhelm you with new revelation as we do dedicate this house. Amen. 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 And I know you have other things, but okay. you said you have freedom. And, uh, and I'm going to take a little freedom, but actually the leading of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Uh, Thank you, Father. Isn't this place beautiful? Yes, it is. Yes. You know, the, the, the spirit of this couple is such peace and, and joy. And when God calls them to do things that maybe they didn't even know how to do, don't they just exude peace to you? Don't they just, when you're around them, don't you just feel like, ah, things are okay now. Mom and Dad are here. Amen. And... And that's what I sense, the area where God led you to come. And there, there is such a, a, a restful peace here. I sat in my car for about 45 minutes praying. Mm -hmm. And for some of you, you may, you know, that's not in your belief system, but I prayed in tongues <coughs> for 45 minutes. Uh, because I was wanting to sense if there in this city was there anything that could hinder the ministry that, that you are called to. And I just want to tell you, there isn't. Amen. Amen. And, and this is that new level. So instead of always, as you've done for years, battle the enemy, and you've been trained under a teacher that did a lot of that uh, there in Echo Park and different things, the Lord has taken you to another realm, and this realm is the what you're doing right now. And but the anointing is is way up here now. Mm, so you, allow that to happen and walk into these places with an understanding that God's gonna move. Amen. It's not asking God will you move, just know God, how do you what do you want me to do Amen. in what you move into? Yes. And um, so I would really love to pray for them. And um, and as we pray for them, I just I just want to ask their pastor to just dedicate this place to the kingdom of God. Amen. Amen. Father, I thank you for that new level of anointing that is huge. Lord, I give you praise and honor and glory for what you're doing in their lives, what you have done. But now they have, they have to literally grab a hold of something to step up because you are taking them to this new level. 
blessings upon blessings Mm -hmm. upon my brother and sister. Blessings upon blessings upon the things that they put their hands to. Lord, I thank you that, God, you will give doctor even greater wisdom and insight in it as a doctor and the things that he does in working with with so many people lord that you would with the the nursing with mila that she'd be able to choose and to train and to do everything exactly the way uh, that you are planning for the future that miracles are in store that nurses will be giving a shot but a miracle will happen because of the anointing upon their life And I thank you, Lord, that there is a new realm, a new realm. We dedicate this place to you, to the kingdom of God, that all that step into these doors would understand that Jesus is Lord, that they would would literally look around and say, what is this? What do I feel? What do I see? And it's that flow of anointing like the olive press, continues to flow. Oil of the Holy Spirit, just move in a great way as we dedicate this place. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Of of this ministry. And then not only that, it is uh, representing each person that, that comes in. If I could have just a few people maybe just to be thinking about the the middle part of here. Every person that walks in these doors will hear the words that are spoken, that will understand, that will be blessed. And when they leave this place, they will go out and become those millionaires. They will be ones. Not only millionaires financially, but they'll be millionaires by leading people to Christ. Amen. Amen. Marketplace ministry. So what I'm going to ask you to do, um, we have... You've all had oil on your finger. If uh, if you just go ahead and just direct your hands to the parts of the building, and then also to the middle part here, and then I want to I'd like the both of you again. Hallelujah. Just, be, just pray for these areas. Just go ahead and pray. The area that you're overseeing. Just pray for the anointing. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Let the rule of the Holy Spirit and in every area. Correction, understanding, revelation. Let it manifest now in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, for that. Thank you, Lord. You are a God. Holy Spirit, guide us. Father, we love you. We love you. We come before you in Jesus' name. Thanking you for the leading of the Holy Spirit. Lord, direct and bless and honor. Lord, bring health to everyone that works here. Bring health to everyone that, that uh, takes us uh, the elements and takes them out to the people. Lord, we thank you for the miraculous. We thank you for that new love. We give you praise for that. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Okay, if everyone can just go ahead and turn it and look towards me. And uh, you can tell I used to do youth camps for years. <laughs> That's a youth camp. So um, what you have done is you have imparted something that God has planned from the very beginning of creation. (laughs) You have set something in motion that is already moving, but now you set in motion the prophetic level that God has set for Mighty Dove Global Ministries. What we're going to see is the fruit of that immediately. But I want you to understand, because you have come here, you've been obedient. I see it throughout Scripture. When people hear the voice of God, and they go where they're supposed to go, God honors and God blesses. So in, in the impartation of what you've done, you will be blessed too because you've been, Amen. You've been Amen. used by God to do this. So let's go ahead and just conclude this by just giving just a, a shout and a clap to the Lord and thanking Him for blessing this ministry. Amen. Amen. It is this. Amen. 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 Amen.